<laughs> Great. Love that for me. Mind your business. I have to get the body right, okay? Outside in an AMG, right outside. channel today's video as you can see from the title it is going to be episode three of my living alone weekly vlog series i'm super excited that you guys have been really enjoying it as well as me i cannot wait to continue to keep doing these if you're new here hey girl my name is akira janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave woke up yesterday and we hit 31k like period 100k i'm coming for you okay so make sure you subscribe i wanted to start off by doing a amazon haul for y'all everything will be linked in my amazon storefront starting off with this one i already unboxed this one and put it into my cabinet well my drawer found out the drawer that i really want to put this in is too small super duper pissed but whatever i'm not returning it um because i actually really like this specific one they did have some more on amazon to where each one of these little bitty cubbies was separate and you kind of just configure how you want it in your drawer but this one looks better and that one didn't have as many good reviews as this one so i got this one i cannot wait to put that up for us to organize i also did a mini little restock yesterday um i woke up went to the gym today at 9 30 came back eight and it's 2 36 right now it is tuesday january 23rd i was gonna start this vlog on sunday but i didn't really do anything sunday i just kind of laid around and chilled and bay came over here and then yesterday he came back over here because he had a photo shoot to do so i've just been chilling and editing like reels and tiktoks the next thing that i got i already threw the box over there but i did get this cute clear acrylic phone stand i wanted a new one because this is the one that i've had for probably like <clears throat> four years as you can see the little things at the bottom are coming off i do like this one because it is adjustable so you can raise it up and down whereas this one it just stay, oop, <laughs> this one it just stays like that so i'm going to keep i got this specifically for my office because y'all know i'm trying to do the whole clear acrylic glass thing in there so i got this for the office and then this one i'll probably just keep in my bedroom or somewhere like that and just walk this one around because Sometimes I lose it, so I like to just have one at my desk and then this other one I'll just take everywhere else. The thing I got is this two-piece clear acrylic <laughs> um, coasters. It comes in a two-pack. It does have a clear film on there, so when you take that off, it actually reveals the clear acrylic. There is another clear piece on the back, but girl, this stuff is so hard to freaking take off. So I'm just going to worry about taking this off after I get done with the haul because if I try to this stuff like that stress me out like when I can't get it it pisses me off and it like gives me anxiety I, I don't know why but it does the thing that I have is this <clears throat> bacon keeper holder thing I did a um, video of organizing my kitchen <laughs> before so y'all can go look at that but yes i cannot wait to add this it says it holds up to three pounds of bacon and i hope it do because i know i get my um bacon from sam's club and it comes in that big old long pack so i wanted to buy this to be able to store it in something more consolidated and so i don't have that big old package in my freaking refrigerator so it comes with the little tongs and then this is just how you pick it up and it's supposed to like drip the juices and stuff in there so i'm super excited about this um this one was about like 26 dollars not gonna lie but all the other ones that i found didn't really seem to be able to hold three pounds of bacon and i really needed something that holds a lot of bacon because i like thick bacon and i just know the other smaller ones it is it, not gonna hold enough so the item i got is this big box that you guys can see I'm not going to take this out yet until I'm ready to put this up because I also want to record a TikTok. But it's a 10 lane, 12 to 16 ounce self pushing drink organizer. You know, all the girlies dang there on TikTok, the organization queens, everybody got this. And I'm like, you know what? 
I like to have everything organized, so why not? And since I have started shopping at Sam's, I do get the three pack of the variety pack of the cranberry juice. So cranberry, cran apple, and cran grape. I also buy Sprite. I also buy my Fiji water. And then I will also have water for guests, the great value from Walmart. So that's already six different drinks along with me occasionally getting different things as well. So I want, I already lined them up at the top like this, but I think it'll be easier to just go ahead and get something that'll push the drinks forward because when Bay is here, he'll grab the water. He'll like try to go all the way to the back to grab the water to not like mess up my organized line. And I'm like, yeah, I'm just tired of him doing that as well as me. When I grab one from the front, then it's like, I gotta pull all the other ones to the, you know, to make it look nice. So I decided to go ahead and buy one of these because I'm tiring myself out and it gets annoying to, after I get one, I gotta pull everything back to the front. So I decided it was about time for me to invest in this. They had a lot of different variations of this, but I went ahead and decided to get the one that everybody normally gets um, instead of trying to be cheap. This was like $60. I was um, about to get one that was like 20 or 30, but those didn't have as good reviews, as many good reviews as that one. So I decided just to go ahead and get that one. Next box that I have, <laughs> this is, what is this? This is, it's a roll on um, fragrance oil, the vanilla bean. I don't really know how to pronounce the name of that, but I saw Alexis rave about this and talk about it. So I decided to get it. And oh my gosh, girl, it smells amazing. I already been using it, not gonna lie, but I kept it in the box <laughs> so that I'll be able to show y'all like I'm just, now open it but girl she was not lying about this i'm about to go in there and look at some other things from this brand or if i can get this in like a bigger bottle because i kid you not this smells amazing i wore it yesterday as well and babe was like you smell good again i i'm gonna show y'all my combo but i mixed that if y'all watch my other vlog of me showing y'all the dossier and that vanilla one from scents angels that i like to mix i mixed both of those along with this one and i think i found my signature scent like Smells amazing, 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. Stuff like that will be linked in like my personal or like beauty items, something like that. The other thing that I got, ah, girl, not they just all came out the box. Okay. <laughs> well, the next thing that I got is this 30 pack of just silverware. So it comes with spoons and forks and knives and it's right here. I thought I heard something. Comes with spoon, forks, and knives. And I decided to just go ahead and get a brand new set of silverware because my silverware, some of the stuff I've had, I've had that since I was in college. Um, yeah, a while. This one, I kind of bought some of these, I think from Walmart, or I might have found some at Home Goods or Mar Marshall, somewhere like that. And I got like a pack of 10. And that's not enough. Like I run through those fairly quickly cause y'all know I cook and stuff every day, but these are just so cute. They're matte black. I'm not gonna put these in the dishwasher because I do not want to mess them up. Stuff like this, I'm just gonna have to start washing out by hand. Now, will I put them in a the dishwasher every once in a while? Maybe, but I'm gonna try to just wash these out by hand. But these are so cute. Like I love the matte black finish. It is just, I cannot wait to organize these and put these together. And I am actually gonna wash those by hand before I put those up because it'll just be quicker. <laughs> as well as I don't wanna actually put them in the dishwasher because I don't want to ruin them. So the next thing that I have is this 11 inch three divider grill pan. Y'all, I am so excited about this. When I come home in the morning and I cook breakfast or just when I wake up, especially when I get off of work, I literally, cook all of my breakfast in the biggest pan that I have. And I'm like, why not just get one with a divider so you can just cook everything at the same time. With this, I plan to cook like my bacon right here. I can do one egg right here. I only like one egg. I don't really like eggs. So I have to eat one egg and one egg only in the mornings. So I really can't eat more than one egg. Then I can cook my smoked sausages right here. And then I can do like some toast. Like I'm just super excited about this. The handle is right here. You have to screw that on separately. So I'm not going to screw it on just yet because I do want to wait for a, to record that for a TikTok. But I cannot wait to freaking start using this. I'm going to use this in the morning actually tomorrow. And I'll record that for y'all and tell y'all how I like it. The last box that I have, I'm not going to pick it up because it's extremely heavy. This is the first box of stuff that I got last week. And basically, I was waiting on all the other stuff to come in. So, this is just a 
black sink not really caddy but like sink water catcher if you will you just put your faucet in this hole right here and then you just lay it on your counter i'll show y'all and then it just catches the water because my sink isn't deep where i live i get a lot of water on my kitchen island and it just splashes everywhere so i would like to have this right here and then it'll catch all of that water that always splashes everywhere so the thing i got is i forgot i don't know what this is oh yes i saw one girl with this on tiktok maybe a few months ago and it's been in my cart ever since i've been procrastinating about getting it because it is a little pricey not gonna lie but i really couldn't find anything else like this that i wanted these come in three different sizes it's literally just a microwave cover and y'all know i cleaned out my microwave for the first time of living here i moved in last april i probably cleaned out my microwave for the first time in like november because I don't really use the microwave, but it definitely was messy. So I'm going to start using a microwave cover for my food. I got the 10 inch. I don't know. Whatever size my plates are in there is what I decided to get right here. So super cute. Definitely extra. Um, could I have went to Dollar Tree or the Dollar Store to get one for $1.25? Yes, I could have. But did I want this cute one? Yeah. So we're here. We got this one. Next item that we have is, oh, my silverware organizer, bamboo. So this is why I bought new silverware because I'm like, I'm everything black and white with a little bit of brown and silver thrown in there. And I'm like, I cannot buy this and not buy no new silverware because the silverware that I have, you'll see, is like turquoise and it's just not matching the vibe, like at all. And this one should fit into my drawers because this one is customizable and i wanted to buy a new organizer as well because i'm trying to free up counter space on my counter yeah this is definitely going to fit so this is how big it is it's not that big um i want to try to free up that my counter because i need more counter space and all right last few items that i got i bought another mount because we're going to be mounting my living room tv should be a lot easier because it's only like a 42 40 something inch tv so it's a lot smaller than my 55 inch tv in my bedroom and the last oh actually i got two more things so this is i have no idea oh paper towel holder so i got a new paper towel holder because like i was saying about my utensils i'm trying to free up the limited counter space that i do have my last apartment definitely had more counter space than this one but it's all good so i just got a regular nobody better return this because baby it was open so i got the cute regular matte black paper towel holder um this is the one that you can either mount or you can just stick so depending on where i put it i'll probably just stick it because it's just you know um freaking paper towel so it shouldn't be too heavy but i'm trying to free up the space so i want to stick this somewhere in my um kitchen the last thing i got is these shoe boxes it's the clear shoe boxes that everybody at this point have i have to go ahead and get these because when i am looking for what shoes to wear sometimes i be forgetting what box is which like especially for my heels um y'all know the shein heels and all of that the boxes all kind of look the same and some of them don't even got what color is um like what color they are on the box so i decided to go ahead and get these these are a pack of 12 so i really needed like four of these to actually house all of my shoes but i wanted to just get a pack of 12 to see how i like them and then i'll order some more but i counted all my shoes and i think i'm going to need like three or four packs of these to actually have all of my shoes in these clear boxes so we're going to put these up very right this is the last thing we're going to put up because those new hangers that I bought from the at home store, y'all know I'm going to have to um, hang up the rest of my Shein clothes. So we'll do that a little bit. three drawers that i'm working with this drawer actually did not have my silverware in here the silverware was over here but this is the only drawer well this is the drawer that that little bag holder would fit in 
so my Civil War was over here with this random stuff. And then this was like all of my bags and plastic wrap and stuff like that. Then I have one more drawer in here, which is this one where the bags are actually gonna go. This drawer is big enough for it, but it just doesn't fit how I would want it to fit. So I'm just gonna put it in here and we're just gonna make do because this is basically like, not really my junk drawer, but this was the drawer that I had organized for like other stuff, like organized junk, if you will. This is the problem that I'm having. Like, it literally will not fit in there like this. So I will have to do it sideways for this drawer. Okay, so I took my drawer out like from the hinges or whatever, so it fits perfectly but I won't be able to access the quart size, but I don't even have those size. I don't even have that size anyway, so I feel like this will be just fine to have it like this. Um, I wonder if I'll be able to do that on the other side. From the plane to the fucking helicopter, yo. Cops pulling up like I'm giving drugs out, ah, nah, nah. I'm a pop star, not a doctor. Just calling my phone like I'm locked up, nah. Stop. From the plane to the fucking helicopter, yo. Cops pulling up like I'm giving drugs out, ah, nah, nah. I'm a pop star. So this was the old set of Civil War that I've had literally since I've been in college. Like, this, this is not the vibe no more. <laughs> like... No man, plus it's so many little bitty spoons. Like, ooh, you gotta look at these because these are my newer spoons. Let me just put those where the small ones are. Ooh, I'm glad I looked at that. So yeah, I've had these forever. These ones I had just bought not too long ago and then I just got the new pack. So a big fourth, small, big spoon, small, smaller. And then the knives are right here. So my whole goal is to clear off this counter. Y'all know I got my new knife set if y'all watch that vlog. So that's cool. My paper towel holder, we're gonna put that up on the cabinet somewhere. And then these utensils over here, I just want these off. Like I don't want, honestly, I'm kind of getting to the point to where I don't want anything on my counters. Like I feel like I'm getting that type of grown. <laughs> where I just want nothing up there, maybe like one or two things and that just be that. Obviously my island is a mess, but this is the only thing that stays on my island, on my island and that's it. So we're gonna try to minimize this and put all of this stuff in here. Um, I do have some of those spoons and stuff dirty in here right now. 
So I got maybe just one, two, three, like three or four more that needs to be washed. So what I was thinking, I don't honestly have anything in this one. So what I was gonna do is put the rest of my utensils and stuff over there in that one because this one has all of my other random stuff in here along with that. So this type of stuff, I'll probably put this, um, my straws and stuff in here as well, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna put my utensils in here. And then this one, all the stuff that's black, I'm gonna put in here. So like, this is like my meat tenderizer. I'm gonna keep that in here. This is like my soup spoon that I like to put in here, or I'm just gonna keep in there. Um, I also, like I said, I don't want anything up here, so. I'm gonna be moving my knife sharpener as well, and I'm gonna just put that in the back back here. I'm trying to see where do I want my paper towels to go, um, because obviously I want it to hang. I don't want it on the counter, so we're just gonna move this out the way. She served her time. It's either from Burlington or TJ Maxx, and I also had to hot glue it down there at the bottom, if you guys can see that, but it's real marble. It's heavy as hell. If I have it like, this then it's gonna hang down like that and cover my lights in the back and I really don't want that and then I feel like if I hang it like that that's ugly Before we do any adjusting, I'm gonna check and see if it actually fits in my refrigerator without having to mess with anything because. Ah! It would fit, but I got that stupid thing in the back. Less if I put it back here. That's like almost perfect, but it's not gonna work either any further. Unless if I move it down, what about that? It's still gonna be poking out though. on that one. It's 5.43 and I'm tired. My neck hurt, my back hurt, everything hurt. So I'm about to, I just got done putting up all of my Amazon stuff, um, doing my little mini restock. I recorded a lot on my phone because my camera did die. What? <laughs> I gotta throw that away, that trash away. Also have, we need to do my shoe boxes and stuff. Have all of this trash. Mm, who's gonna take this out? And it is literally, well I can't show y'all, but it is pouring down right now, right now. And I still gotta take him outside. It's 5.43, so I'm about to go ahead and feed him again. Um, let him eat first and then take him out because I'm tired. I'm trying to figure out, do I wanna cook tonight? <sighs> Excuse me. I'm trying to figure out if I wanna cook tonight or not because I have two more, two or three more pieces of chicken left, I think two. Um, my actual chicken breast, I ate that today. I basically, that's what I like to do for like meal prep or I like to specifically have that for lunch. For dinner tonight, I was gonna do a roast, but when I um, took it out the freezer, the meat wasn't looking too well, so I'm not even about to test that out and eat that. So I do have ribs and I have another thing of hamburger meat. Um, 
I don't feel like cooking ribs, but I know it's gonna smack if I do. I still got some macaroni left, so like I wouldn't have to make macaroni again. I would just have to cook the ribs and then I'm gonna do some barbecue baked beans. Not the way that I would like to do it, like with the hamburger meat in there, um, onions, bell peppers, all of that. Um, it's just gonna be, I'm just gonna add mustard brown sugar and barbecue sauce to them because that's all I have. And plus, I buy the little bitty cans of barbecue baked beans, I'll show you, because it's just me. I don't really be needing those big old things of baked beans. So I had this little bitty can. It's basically one serving because I can eat this whole thing myself. Um, 270 calories, one serving per container. So one serving size, one cup, yes. Yeah. So I usually just eat this whole thing and it's 13 grams of protein. And I went to the gym today, so I'm trying to get my protein intake up. So. When I come back um, from taking prints outside, <clears throat> we'll probably start on that because those ribs gonna take a good almost two hours to cook. <sighs> I'm just so tired. And people keep calling me today. Like I took my phone off Do Not Disturb and I just keep getting calls. And like me, sometimes y'all see me like with my AirPod in my ear, like I'll be on the AirPod well, with air part of my ear doing stuff, talking to y'all. But like today, when I'm trying to film using my phone as well as my camera, I cannot be on the phone talking. So I should have just had my phone on Do Not Disturb all day. But y'all know I do got two phones, so I could I could have really had them on FaceTime, like with my other phone. Or sometimes I had people on FaceTime either with my MacBook or my iPad. But I just had to focus. Like I can't if I'm talking on the phone, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing with the content, content wise. So yeah. I'm gonna stop talking because I'm tired. I need, I, I just need to relax for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and take him out because it is raining. Then I'm gonna come back and feed him. And we then just got back inside. And girl, why he poop inside the not inside my apartment, but like inside the building? He's soaking wet. And I'm about to throw him in the toilet real quick because I know he's going to stink <laughs> in the morning. Which hopefully it stops raining. But I'm about to go ahead and just throw him in there real quick and rub him down in his bubble bath because I don't got time to be selling that. <laughs> and y'all know I want to pick this up from Home Goods. This smells amazing. Like to use. This is from Walmart. Good morning. It's Wednesday, January 24th, 1134. It's the next day. As you can see, I shampooed and conditioned my hair again last night. Um, getting my hair done today. <laughs> I'm at my appointment right now. It's not till 12 o'clock. It's 1134. Um, I didn't really have anything else to do. I just like to already be here. And especially because I tried to drop off my closure um, a few days ago. And um, I sat out here for like an hour. She didn't uh look at her phone or whatever but anyway she just said i can bring my closure to the appointment so right now i was gonna put this in my entrepreneur vlog but i don't know i may still do that but anyways um i'm about to get my hair done with some new hair that i'm testing out for my brand i went ahead and put my label on one of them just to kind of see how it would look but this is virgin hair a few y'all a lot of y'all have been asking me for wigs, clippings, kinky hair, like the whole nine, HD lace, all of that. And my raw Vietnamese vendor does not offer wigs, HD lace, none of that. So for a better price for you guys, I would like to find a quality virgin hair vendor. And I'm trying it out now. Y'all know I love to test out the hair, see how it holds up before I actually even sell anything. So this is the hair super soft cute bouncy don't have any weird smell y'all know i tried out i showed y'all i tried out another raw vietnamese vendor and the hair smelled horrendous like taking it out the package so yeah it's just a lie i'm not really in the mood today either um i am going to vlog when i get home because i do want to like go ahead and finish setting up my apartment and stuff like that i have the hd closure right here um lace looks really good the knots are small it's a 20 inch five by five lace closure it's a huge closure too so yeah i'm just waiting i'll probably dm her because the doors are locked where it's at and it's like a little code box right there but she didn't give me a code so i'm just gonna dm her and be like probably at like 11 probably like 11 50 for like 10 minutes so she can actually check her phone 
I probably DM him about yeah about 11:50, and I'd be like, hey, I'm outside. Um, do I need a coat for the door, or do you know do you just come to the door or whatever? So that's that. Um, really, I don't have anything else planned today. We're way too grown. Made it to the age of buying steamers. <laughs> I think, yeah, this is one. Shout out to you, Halir. Honey, I know I was old when I'm getting excited about home decor and I'm asking my Christmas presents to be household items. So, yeah, my hair, it's a lot. She got a lot to break down. So, we're going to work with it. Um, I don't have anything else to say. I'm just here wasting time. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all when my hair is done. I did want to go get my lashes done before I came here. I did my eyebrows at home, just filled them in a little bit. Cause I did want to go up the street to get my, like I said, lashes done, but I didn't have time. I uh, got me some Chick-fil-A. I honestly don't even have an appetite right now. Um, I ate a few fries, but that's about it. I'm just not feeling it today. So I'm outside my apartment complex and the fire alarm has been going off for at least 10 minutes. Um, finally got to introduce myself to my neighbors um prince has a friend now named oliver shout out to you oliver um it's really annoying this is the like fourth time this has happened since i've lived here i moved in in april and yeah this is literally the fourth time this has happened so i don't know if you guys can hear that but it's really loud it scares the hell out of prince when we're inside and yeah so that's how my day is going. Wanted to show y'all my hair when I got home, but can't do that because I'm outside because the fire alarm's going off. FML. So I'm tired and we're not gonna be doing anything today. I literally was standing outside for probably, oh, dang near over 10 minutes with the freaking alarm going off. So I feel like that slightly messed up my hair, but she's still looking good. Um, curls are still there. Frizzy? Yes. <laughs> so that's annoying. And plus it was raining today and I also think it was a, it was sprinkling outside a little bit. So that's why my hair got messed up. I'm slightly pissed off about that, but I'll probably put a little bit of oil and yeah, we're gonna wrap it up tonight. But anyways, my hair is done. Uh, I'm testing out a virgin hair vendor um, so I can add it to the site because a lot of y'all have been asking for wigs, HD closures, all kind of stuff. And so I'm about to try to get my hair together because the rain and the weather outside definitely messed up my hair. So we're going to try to get it together. I'm starving. I bought Chick-fil-A and just like I did the last time, I ate the fries and I did not eat my nuggets. So I'm kind of needing something a little bit more heavier than just nuggets right now. So I'm about to um, cook some chicken. Ugh. So yeah, I'm about to cook some chicken and then I already got some macaroni and stuff made. I'll just keep this Chick-fil-A for like a snack for tonight because I'm not about to eat this right now. And I gotta show y'all the finished product of that. We also got a package, it's from Dossier. All right, so we got some perfume to review. Y'all know I love Dossier, and I showed y'all my little perfume combo and my favorite scent. I'm all out. Let me see if I actually got it again. All right, so the ones that I got is Floral Violet, Floral Lavender, and Floral Honeysuckle and Powdery Orange Flower. I am here. Yeah. So it's 7.31, um, Wednesday, this is the same day. And I think I'm just about to wrap up my hair or whatever and lay down and go to bed because it's Wednesday and I'm tired, I've been up. Honestly, I didn't really sleep good last night. So I've been up kind of on and off since like three o'clock this morning. So I am extremely tired. Um, and also I'm just not in the best mood right now, if we're being completely honest. And I'm not the type of <clears throat> YouTuber that can still record when my mood isn't right. Like if I'm not feeling well or my best, I just don't record. So I'm gonna wait to finish doing everything tomorrow. I'm gonna try to wake up early. I do need to do some Shein content as well. Uh, we're gonna mount my TV. We're gonna put together my little shoe storage thing, put up, hang my clothes like with my new hangers, all of that type of stuff. So tonight I'm just about to change out of this jumpsuit and uh, wrap up my hair in my little 
heatless curler thing or whatever. I was going to try flexi rods. Um, but I ain't flexi rod my hair in a long minute, girl. So, what is he doing? So, I'm kind of scared to try to do flexi rods. So, I'm just going to do the little heatless curler thing. And then I may do flexi rods the other day. But, yeah. Tomorrow's my last off day. I've been off for nine days. I'll go back to work Friday, Saturday. I may work Monday and Tuesday next week. I'm not sure. But, like I said, I'm not feeling my best right now. So, <clears throat> I'll come to y'all probably, obviously, tomorrow. So, we can get some things done when, um... My mood is better. So yeah, I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. today at all really it's 11:05 <clears throat> in the morning now thursday january 25th and i've been up since 4 30 and it already feels like it should be like five o'clock right now <laughs> like i had just said on instagram if you guys follow me on instagram i have it here that literally the 4 a.m five o'clock girlies i see why y'all do it i really do see why y'all do it but I don't know how y'all continue to do it. Like, I've been waking up. I've been going to bed earlier, and I've been waking up um, a lot earlier as well. But I don't know. I went to sleep. I don't know. I just woke up early, decided to just get up and go to the gym. Like, I got goals. I got stuff to do. So I decided just to get up early. I do work at my hospital job overnight tomorrow and then Saturday. So I'm going to have to train myself to stay up at night again for, like, the next... Th that's why it's just... It's just hard work at night shifts, but it's 11.06. We have a few more things to do, and I'm sorry if this vlog is like, I don't know. I had like an, I had a vision for this vlog, and like my mood just haven't been it for like the past two days. Just, yeah, I will leave it at that, but I just haven't been feeling like doing anything, and like I said last night, like I can't pretend to do stuff or like get on camera and like pretend to be, you know, something that I'm not. That's, that's just not me. Um... So we're going to put up my TV. We're going to mount it since it's 11 o'clock. I just had to pick up the camera because I just decided to go ahead and kind of just curl my hair back over because why not? I just got my hair done yesterday. When your hair look good, you feel good and, you know, it just boosts up your mood. Yeah, know I went to the gym and stuff. So I just decided to just recurl my hair just a little bit. And girl, I know I'd have read about this before, but this T3 is insane. Like this is the best set of curls i've ever gotten like 
Oh, it's just so cute, but they're gonna fall again because like I said, I don't have any hairspray. <laughs> if y'all have been here since my past vlogs, like the only thing that I have is got to be glue free spray and then some old Aussie spray that I slammed through right yet. Mind your business. But y'all, I haven't even brushed these curls out. I'm not gonna brush these out, I'm gonna let them fall. But girl, first off, I'm loving the virgin hair. This is definitely about to be added to the website like i'm gonna wear it obviously for like a full month to kind of you know see how like make sure it doesn't overly shed because all hair shed y'all know that like even our river shed i don't know why people expect to get wigs and bundles and stuff and be like oh it's shedding your natural hair shed every day like i don't understand but <laughs> as long as i'm not experiencing like just balding basically then yeah lace eat down i already love that so we're good with that the bundles so soft so like I, I just love it so yeah i just i just had to get on the camera show because girl first off the t3 she eats she's worth every single coin and every single penny literally told my cousin best thing i've ever gotten like love it and i said i told my cousin because she's the one who bought it for me for christmas but yeah i'm just gonna let my curls fall on their own uh, because they're gonna fall because i'm not gonna spray them with hairspray um until i go to target and like pick out one but yeah do not have to say that we're about to um put up my TV. So let's just go ahead and get into that. I was gonna record for TikTok and stuff, but since I already recorded it in my bedroom, I don't think I'm gonna record it here. I'll I'll record it, but I don't know if I'm gonna post it since I'm girl, it's still eleven o'clock. Like, oh my gosh, I cannot with the waking up early. The lighting is not doing it for me. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this box and unbox everything. Y'all commented on my last uh, vlog and said that y'all also had used this and some of y'all said y'all had it up for over a year and stuff. Super excited because girl, I'm not paying nobody to mount my TV. Like, <laughs> everybody needs to go get this. This this is the best invention ever. Like, oh my gosh. And it's, this is only 19, like 99 or something. And girl, I was about to pay which I mean, I don't, I don't care to pay for stuff, but like, girl, <laughs> you know, everybody got their hustle and stuff. I was about to pay $120 to get my freaking TV mounted. And that was like me paying for the mountain stuff as well, but girl, $20 and I could do it myself. Okay, thank you. First thing I gotta do is unplug the TV from the little box right here. I forgot my apartment comes with free cable. I'm paying a package for it. So I'm gonna try to hook up my cable cord to this TV. I forgot all about it when I did this one. Maybe when Bay come back over here, I'll um, probably try to take this down and hook up the cable cord to this one. But honestly, it really don't matter to me, especially not in my room. But in here, since he likes to watch the game and stuff like that and just whatever, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to hook up the cable to this one. And then the one in my guest bedroom when I do get a TV in there. I just had to pop on the camera because look how bright it is right now. This is natural sunlight, minus a few lights right here. But there you go. This right here, <coughs> natural sunlight. Why is it 61 degrees right now, girl? It ain't raining no more, nothing. When I got out and went to the gym earlier, it was like pouring down right now. It is so pretty outside, like, 
can live with this. <laughs> I am um, over the cold. I like fall time. I used to really like winter, but now that I'm an adult and I have to drive in snow, ice, sleep, rain, whatever, um, I like the fall better. But I am super excited for just like summer, especially since I'm in the gym, baby. I'm about to get the body right, okay? So I just want to pop on like, it looks really pretty out here. Anyways, I'm about to fold these clothes and um, set aside the ones that need to be hung up. And then I also have, y'all know the Shein clothes up in here that I wanted to um, hang up from the haul that I did. This is new clothes that I have to do a haul on. I'll probably do that later today. And it, it, it's literally only 143. Like, time is going by so slow, but I'm not mad at it because today my last off day. Um, when I get done with hanging up my clothes and everything i'm probably gonna go ahead and cook me some lunch i'm kind of still full though <clears throat> if we're being completely honest because i basically ate breakfast twice like i put a little bit of something like a pre-workout i ate, you know two pieces of toast bacon no i had two pieces of toast apples and then that one egg i didn't even honestly finish that because y'all know i can't really do eggs but I ate a few bites of the eggs and then I came back and had an actual breakfast. But I think for lunch, I'm just gonna do the chicken breast to roasted potatoes. Um, I'm not gonna cook any macaroni or anything with it. I'm just gonna do roasted potatoes and the chicken and that's gonna be like my lunch since it's already, like the chicken's already cooked, everything's already made. Well, someone's tired. <laughs> I wanna go to the mall to Victoria's Secret because my bras, I need a new bra. Like I'm, I'm sick of this. So I have a Victoria's Secret <coughs> gift card for like $25, $30. And I was thinking just to go to the mall and give me a new bra, but it is already one and I gotta go to Target and do like some more stuff around the house. So I may go to the mall tomorrow, but we'll see. But I definitely need a new bra because I can't deal with the wires. I really wanna try um, Skims. I hear a lot of people talk about the quality and stuff. Um, it's just, if I can't try on the bra, then it's like, I'm really scared to order it. But I think I may just go ahead. I believe you can return stuff to skim. So I may go ahead and chance it and order it. Cause we don't have obviously anywhere that sells skims in store. Like when I was in Dallas, um, I went to Nordstrom and they literally had skims in there so it was easier to actually feel the quality of stuff and you know try different things on and here in arkansas we ain't got nothing like that so i can't ever experience you know those good store those good stores that sell the you know quality items and stuff like that so <laughs> It's 2.54, it's um, almost three. I'm glad I just looked at the phone. Um, I'm posting a hair review today, so if you would like, go check it out. <laughs> because, I mean, it helps, but I still get paid and stuff regardless. But to keep them coming, go check it out. Add to a playlist, we're gonna do hair review videos. I already have it ready and everything. I already got paid for it. I already posted all my stuff and all of that. So I'm just about to go ahead and post it now because it's a hair review video. And then Sunday, you guys are going to see this vlog. And I think I was already seeing this yesterday, but I just feel like this vlog is just scattered everywhere. Like it's chaotic. And it's just because my mood is just like for the past two days, it just has not been good. So I just feel like I'm not able to vlog and stuff how I normally do, but I'm gonna stay home today. I'm not gonna go to Target. I'm gonna go to Target. Um, Cause I mean, I'm gonna be at work the next two days. So like the trash and stuff is fine. I still got a big like shopping bag in there. And then honestly, I can just take a trash bag from work <laughs> for the meantime. Um, but yeah, I think I wanna actually like do the hygiene and stuff like that, hygiene shopping and all of that um, Sunday because I, 
I am off Sunday. Let me I'm just gonna save all of that for like Sunday and then next week's vlog because I feel like I feel like I don't got a lot of um footage for this vlog, but then I feel like when I sit down to edit, it's gonna be a lot of footage. So we're gonna go ahead and start building my shoe boxes. I do have my food on. I decided to go ahead and cook macaroni because if you guys care about like my weight gain and stuff like that, somebody has said if you follow my instagram you know what i've been posting so so about my workout um a girl said that the creatine literally like bulked her legs up and then she said they do say drink a lot of water with it since it's pulling water into your muscles though but let the gains begin um i definitely knew that and i do need to be drinking a lot more water than like i already do but i started to track my food again just because like when I'm not feeling good, like my mood is down, I'm the type of person who like don't eat and I already don't really eat enough on a regular basis. So me not being in a good mood definitely messes with that. So I used to use my fitness pal, but my fitness pal is stopped letting you like scan a barcode. You gotta buy like a premium. So now I use, dang, they coming in real quick. Um, so now I use, y'all on it girl. I use my net diary and you're able to like scan things or whatever so with this one obviously i put in there i want to get back to i put i want to get to 160 pounds it says i need to gain 16.2 pounds in seven months i weighed in today 143.8 pounds um right now <clears throat> i got 333 calories left it says that i need to eat 2400 calories i still try to shoot for 3000 just because like i am still small like i know me and me coming from 98 pounds i just still kind of just stick it like 3000 but if i can get 2400 2500 that's cool i'm basically maintaining but like to amplify that i do need to get about 3000 so my lunch without the macaroni it only would have been like 700 calories and i really need a good lunch and my protein is good with the anyways i'm using this app so with using this app i don't even know what i was talking about <laughs> like oh the macaroni i decided to cook the macaroni because i only would have had 700 calories and i need more than 700 calories for my lunch so my lunch now is going to be 1114 calories because with the macaroni i eat two cups of macaroni i eat that whole box of macaroni honestly but i'm gonna dim it down to two cups and then with that same mac and cheese I'm going to cook um, either what I call my famous meal. I'm going to cook chicken or I'm going to do ribs tonight. All right, so it's much later in the day. What time is it? It's 6.44 and we're about to put up my new shoe shelves. So y'all know I only bought 12. So we are gonna worry about the heels later. Um, of course, that was my problem. Actually, should I just go ahead and do the heels? Cause I know what tennis shoes those are. The tennis shoes say what they are. Like the Vapor Max, the Nikes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Can I count? <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, I got exactly twelve pairs of heels up there. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the heels first, and I'm gonna buy some more boxes, and then we're gonna do my tennis shoes. Did you buy your stuff? Let's start editing. Your new stuff. All right, I took my shoes out the shoe boxes, uh, put like two aside that I can't fit anymore or don't want. I have exactly four pairs of black heels. I got two green, orange, blue. I got two white, but my other white one is up on the shelf. And then I got a leopard, 
And yeah, I'm gonna put the black ones up in here first. I think I'm gonna put the heels in the box first and then actually put it like on the shelf, whereas trying to reach all the way up there and stack them heels up in there. So we're gonna see how this work out. Do I wear the most? These ones, I do not wear, honestly at all. So we're gonna put these at the top. Sort of looks a lot better than them tacky boxes, the different shape boxes and colors. And then that's all the heels I had, so I put these two sneakers in there. So y'all, I'm going through my earrings and trying to <laughs> put my earrings up. Y'all know I had bought them ones from Shein, real cute, you know, the studs, yeah, giving. Why I come across these big old hoops? Who who about to wear these? Like, now I see what my mama and all the grown folks was talking about. That we looked a fool. Because, no. I cannot. I literally just put these up to my ear and I look absolutely ridiculous. So, we're throwing those out. I don't even wear hoops no more anyway. Like, definitely none like this. So, I think I'm just going to throw all of these out. I never wore gold hoops. I wore silver, but I'm just not a hoop girl no more. So we're going to throw those out. These are kind of cute, and I don't know if I got these for like a gift or what. So I'm going to keep these for right now. But these other ones, trash. I want all night. 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 I want all night.